interactive music therapy is a positive approach and is very much suitable for children in all stages of development whether of normal intelligence or with special health care needs the different psychological models used in interactive music therapy are one guided imagery of the body model two the analytical model of priestly three the creative music therapy four the free improvisation model five the behavioral music therapy all these were used in my research process as and when necessary and are discussed in all my previous books music therapy research is an interesting and very fruitful activity the word research means a careful or diligent activity of search a careful or diligent activity or search to search or to investigate exhaustively is the other definition given for research the search is a search again and again a re search perpetual inquiry for a lifetime in other words an action research what you call a lifetime research thus we embark upon some new discoveries through our continuous research activities there is a very well organized plan for research it is disciplined and systematic inquiry disciplined and systematic the two types of research called quantitative and qualitative research are to be understood by all music therapists the quantitative research quantifies data and employs statistics for arriving at conclusions the quantitative approach the continuous response digital interface what you call the crdi and fmri fmri is the full name is functional in, in magnetic resonance interface these are used for quantifying research data and outcomes and specific and placebo tapes and double blind studies are conducted in hospitals as ebm trials evidence based medicine trials headphones to shut out background noises and music in open space with background noise are tried and quantified for effects the personality of the therapist and the client is assessed before all the trials this is a quantitative research so controlled comparisons verification by replication and meta analysis give quantifiable data with minimum bias that is why this is done minimum bias should be there two types of styles or designs are there for single case study research a single case study for that two types of styles or designs one is a quantitative case study and the other is a applied behavioral analysis descriptives are used to arrive at means the average the numerical mathematical models of evaluation and thus a quantitative research protocol is sta sat statistical descriptive and mathematical see my book and see the descriptives of my research in the book i have given the full descriptives in that what all parameters are used how i re re reached at the means average the numerical mathematical models or the software used for that everything is given in that book so that type is the quantitative type of research It's just an approach just to tell you what an approach is any parameter you can use uh, assess in this manner in experimental research two or more clients or samples are studied for comparison for example in a clinic suppose we are studying an alzheimer's dementia case 10 cases and these are video taped that is an experimental research these are video taped with one with long familiar songs familiar songs for the clients the other with new unfamiliar but shorter songs then give a long familiar prose prose gadyam new short verbal passages so four types of things are given and these are vide video taped each patient is studied in three occasions the percentage of words recapitulated by each was calculated the rewinding of memory with the familiar ones the cognizance by new ones are also assessed 
Thus, it contains not only quantitative data but also qualitative one when you are studying an Alzheimer's experimental research. You can understand what I am meaning. I have given some of the, my exp experiments with Alzheimer's also So in that books. So you can compare these things, whether I have done these things. No, this is the way that you have to do a thing. Variable means, what do you mean by a variable? What is an independent variable? What is a dependent or changing variable? A variable means that which changes or that which can be changed or modified by some sort of an intervention. Independent variable is that which is set up by the researcher. Got the point? It is set up by the researcher. The client has no choice over the selection of it. The researcher is deliberately making one or the other variable for suitable for his method. The independent one. And it is the one difference between the controlled and the comparable situation. So only that variable which the experimenter has chosen as an independent variable is the only difference between a controlled and the comparable situation. All the other things are the same. And it is set by the researcher's choice and these distinguish an independent variable. So that term is clear to you, no? What is a dependent variable then? That which the research measures become the dependent variable. What, 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 what your research measures? That becomes the dependent variable. That which is determined, the, that variable which is determined by the researcher is the independent variable and that is comparable. But what your research measures is the dependent variable. The variation of it is controlled by the independent variable. So whatever variation you get in your dependent variable is actually controlled by the independent variable which you chose or the researcher chose. Dependent variable yield information for analysis and subsequent conclusion. So it is an outcome, it is the observation, the, what all things you observed with this particular independent variable which you have set as a measure, what all things you could observe and how you analyze that to get a subsequent conclusion or outcome. So that makes the quantitative research. Now we have to know what is qualitative research. <laughs>